KE6 VRK here. Just throwing in an extra thing I did find on here, which is interesting. Using the CAA500 antenna analyzer by Comet. It's this one, which is related to the other video. If you change the band, you can get a wider automatic sweep. I just wanted you to know that. I'll give you an example. If I set it for 144, and I do have a mobile antenna that's uh, 2 meter 440, and if I go to sweep, it will give you an automatic sweep. You can see the graph being drawn of that automatic sweep, and you can see where the range is that it works really well, the SWRs. So we have that. Now, if we change it around, if I turn the graph off, and that X tells it the amount of uh, the amount of range sometimes it'll do it. Watch, if I bring it down, now I'm on 128 megahertz. So this is gonna tell you, it's gonna do a pretty wide sweep. So let's see what that does with the, with the automatic sweep. Look at the range, it's minus 19. So look, it's gonna show you where it's at at 110 megahertz. Then it's gonna keep drawing. I'll bring it a little bit. And then it's gonna dip down as it goes higher and higher. It's pretty nice. Look at that, the SWR is going down near 144. Yeah. So that dips it down. So let's try it even wider. I'm gonna turn the graph off. And let's go down here. And I'm going to try a automatic sweep. This is going 18 megahertz again. See what this does. It was almost to inf yeah, it was like infinity. Goes around. Let's see what this does. Yeah, so that goes off the graph. So I thought that would interest you and that you can change this around, you can change the band. Now I do know if you go to 50 megahertz, let's try to 50 megahertz. See what it does there. Looks like it's completely off the graph. So you can stop a graph if you want. You just hit graph off and you can stop the graph. Actually, I'm curious if you do it on the 52.525. Oh, you can see the match. Yeah, there's, it's got a bad match. If I go back to, I'm gonna show you one more thing. If, if I'm on the regular two meters, if I'm on two meter, I'm gonna set the, the uh, match really well it's at 50 50 ohms and you're getting a pretty good match on here okay if i draw the graph i'm going to do an automatic again look what the meters do the meters will automatically move to the graph and you can see the meters automatically move and the match goes up as the frequency goes up and where it stopped, that's where that stopped. Want to get an even better view if I change it to one down and we do an automatic sweep. You can see where this goes. You can see the meters move. It's kind of nice to have an automatic. If I move it back, you can see where that's at. There's where the drop is at. Look at that, see? There we go. 50 ohms. Get a good match there. So that is the graph at, uh, it looks like uh, plus and minus 19 megahertz from 126. Obviously, if you go ahead to the right, the match looks really good. So I wanted to throw that in. That's a very interesting things you can do with this meter. It's a really fun meter. I like it. And it's going to be good for beams. I'm also going to do another video with beams, how you can uh, tune a beam, uh, a Yagi antenna. So I'm going to do that. 
So remember, 73s and have fun with the meter. It's a very, very useful meter. This is also one recommendation I make is to get the case for the meter and that you will be carrying this meter around a lot in the field, especially if you're doing outside work like QRP, mountain topping or whatever. You definitely want to get one of these cases. It protects the meter and also has a nice carrying strap. If you like the video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the page to keep posted on all the various videos that we will present on this channel. Remember 73s from KE6VRK.